Now, let us look at the drivers of the matrix and we try to understand what is the logic behind the drivers of the matrix. What actually drive to these performance metrics? The performance of an entity or a function is often driven by certain other factors that may be internal or external to the organization. So it is important to understand the drivers of the performance of any metric. So now let us look at this concept in detail. For example, the generic model to predict service reliability may be expressed as follows. Now this is not a simple metric. We have actually modeled the situation. We have actually modeled the service reliability. So service reliability would be a function of the origin local, destination which is also local, and the terminal and the line of road. Let's say if we want to devise a function which actually provides us the service reliability in this form. So the actual functional form of the model for a given railroad may be expressed as follows. So here we are not using a metric. But instead of it, we are using the driver for some performance, that is a model. So service reliability would be equal to POD, that is origin and destination, to some power A with T, B and L power C, where POD is the combined performance of the origin and destination locals. T is the terminal performance and L is the line of road performance. So whatever was in our function of service reliability, we have taken it in our service reliability model. In addition to it, A, B and C are the corresponding exponents, powers. An inverse of the service prediction model may be used to compute the breakdown performance. So if it is my service reliability, agar ye meri service reliability hai, to iska inverse, yani 1 over service reliability will actually give me the breakdown performance. So what will I do for different values of the POD power A, T power B and L power C? I will take the inverse of it and I will find the breakdown performance breakdown ka bura. and i can actually see the level of breakdown so this is the depiction of this example on your x axis you have the local performance and on your y axis you have line of road performance so by taking the inverse of the service reliability we have different values for different terminals and you can see the performance is higher for the terminals with 90 percent road performance so in this way the model can be used as a driver for making some metrics so students we have seen a simple example in which different type of models would actually lead to some performance metric. Thank you.